and face that this world has forgotten. What's up guys? Now, before going into the course of the Wi-Fi battle of the day, I'm just going to tell you guys that I've actually started a Discord group called The Battle, which clearly is an invitation that I want you guys to join it. It's going to be linked down below. And it's basically it's a way of you to actually, of course, battle me, but also battle other players in, of course, the Pokemon community. The purpose of this channel or Discord group is basically to gather people that want to battle by Smoke and Tears. So feel free to join us, and, well, I'll see you guys there. Ooh, what is up, guys? And, of course, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with just real course, this is Skyrender, and, yeah, today we're going up against the Relief Storm, and his channel is going to be linked down below in a never-used Wi-Fi battle. And we want to just have some fun, basically. We don't have necessarily the heaviest of meta team. And as you guys, if you've seen my Who Was Really Better episode, know that I had a running theme testing out Arbok to see whether or not how viable it was in Never Use. So it was probably not the time of do. So Never Use is not really that well established. And even that, so Arbok still kind of lacklustering. Doesn't necessarily do a whole lot, but at the same time, hell, I could. Damn it, I wanted to try. And also, I really wanted to try to get some material for uh, that episode, which I sadly didn't use, uh, which I really felt was unfortunate. We're gonna ramp up that, those kind of videos in the future. Never mind that now. We're going against the road. He has a uh, Priplup. Um, very good in generation 5 and 6, with, you know, Stealth Rock, Z Fog. Um, then with Miss Magius, a Lolan Raichu, Buffalant, and Confederate is gonna say, but that is Garbodor and Primate. I myself is using Rotom. A Scarper in at that, Fake Out hit Molly with Normal Gem, uh, Zill Valley with, um, I do believe, I had I had something on it, I can't remember. Uh, right on, Stealth Rock Standard Set, Delph Fox with Power Herb Solar Beam, and Arbok with Z um, Waterium, which basically is for Aqua Tail to get the Hydro Vortex. So, yeah, with of course all of this said, let's go into the match. So, from the get-go here, my dedicated switching is actually Rotom. And it works fairly well against most matchups. But he's gonna lead up with not not being, of course, Pingu. No, but <laughs> being the Priplop. And I can't necessarily do all that much to it. All I can really do is Volt Switch against it. Take my honest chance of doing so, since I don't have any switches that want to come on, uh, since it lacks a ground type. So Garbodor comes in. Not the most insane switching, really, as I'm gonna bring in Lumin, White Dolph Fox, and go for the very, very safe Psychic. As it brings in not not again, and um, Psyche won't do necessarily anything, and it really really stands you know tall for how impactful that divine light really is. But I can go for free call mind here. A solar brain at this range actually won't kill him, so I need to go for at least one call mind, and he's he will get his rocks up, and that's okay. Um, well, I am kind of kind of weak to rocks to be honest. And there's really nothing to do outside, of course, Hitmali, which don't actually have Rapid Spin. So, anyway, I go for the Solar Beam, and or the Solar Power of Herb variant, and you are going to go for the BOOM! And it is not enough. It's, Priplop actually survives it, while I will steal his Divine Light, which clearly don't necessarily matter now, and does it, since, of course, <laughs> it's close to dead. He was supposed to die there, and didn't do it, and that was unfortunate, but... Um, Elias gets to showcase the Priplop, clearly a threat, <laughs> can't survive, as we go for yet the Psychic here just to wrap it up, you're gonna get the residual damage, and it's very likely now the Primax come in, if it is a Scorpion, Prime will be showcased, and I don't have a fair switch into Primate necessarily, um, I don't want to take a gamble on it, since Earthquake is really hitting me super effectively against everything on my team, basically, so I need to have the Delphox go, and sadly, uh, I mean, it's a massive threat I lost there. We could have done a really good job against my opponent here. As I go back to Pulse, which could have been a switch, and actually, with of course Earthquake and that in mind. So, a bit of a misplay thinking about it. As he gonna switch out and go to the Mr. Magius, as I'll go yet again for a Volt Switch, taking my given opportunity to get, to get some pivoting, really. And uh, I'm gonna send in my Vaknuk, my Arbok, and I'm just gonna go for the Water MC move. Uh, basically what I was thinking is, if I'm gonna get an opportunity of pulling this off, this will be it. As he will go for a taunt, predicting the possible coil or sucker punch, as, um, joke's on him. We're gonna go for the higher Vortex Arbok, and this is so cool, like, th the real 
thing with you know, all these C moves is that some of the more unconventional Pokemon can do such a weird moves and they look so powerful and you know it's just your regular average snakes that punch the Mr. Mages in the face and it's gonna fall and yeah Fuck Nuke is here as Mama June comes in being the Buffalunge and I really can't switch into anything here either I'm just gonna go for a gunk shot go for as much damage as possible actually as we're gonna score not only the poison but due to he's been a sub SD set, we are actually kind of in a fair spot because there is really nothing he can do outside of KOing me clearly. But uh, he's not a threat behind the sub and will die to poison behind the sub. So I'm just gonna switch down and bring down my Garuga, which is a bit more defensive, if I remember correctly, with the potting shot. So I was thinking this is gonna be a good opportunity for me of just soak some damage and then hopefully get some momentum out of this as um, I really must say Bufflin is very very underrated as a whole uh, I'm actually going for a parting shot here I felt I would give given good chance here to just piloting around basically do at least damage as possible but he is soundproof and will neglect my parting shot and that's kinda bad while of course I will survive this it's it, it, it isn't you know ideal to be yet stayed in here. Had I got a parting shot, I would have reduced the damage I put on the Buffalo and hopefully piloting a lot better without it. But now I am just a sitting duck. I lost pretty much all my HP on my Garou or my Zill Valley. As the Piglet comes back in, I don't want to take and gavel on this Pokemon. As it goes for a U turn, that's going to KO my Garuga, which sucks. Really want to use Zill Valley in a different fashion, but hey. That's the game we play, and the soundproof really threw me off. As we're gonna see, Pancakes comes in, and all I was thinking is Rhydon should be able to survive anything this Pokemon wanna do, and I can scout for a possible Surf. Well, for everything I wanted to scout for, Focus Blast or All Out Pummel, I should say, was not one of them. So I was like, alright, it's a Simu user, fair enough. If we didn't wanna go for Volt Switch or anything like that, I'll take it. As, um,. We are going to get heavily, heavily, heavily damaged, but we survive because we are a Rhydon and Rhydon do not fall for such a simple moves and we're going to retaliate back with an earthquake. It should be said though, had it had Surf, Grass, Knot or anything like that, that would have easily wanted killed me, but due to being a Focus Blast, I always survived and that is awesome. Uh, so he's going to send in his... Uh, uh, Prime yet again, and you know, I'm just gonna sag it at this point. It's all wrapped up basically uh, As he's gonna actually bring his guard border all I'm really gonna do now is actually go to my Vak Nuke, which being of course my um, beautiful beautiful artwork really and I'm not gonna lie at this point I was really just trying to get so defensively heavy as I could to try to survive the primate I should be able to deal with it no matter what but it's actually hard switching out directly to primate and all I really can do here is hope that I can survive an earthquake and then reach out with a gunk shot which should be a one kill if I can survive this earthquake well it feels very 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 unlikely that I would be able to do so but um, the game throws me a bone and I survive on 3 HP and I'm going to retaliate with, of course, a gunk shot, and we're going to actually KO the Primeape. And not only that, due to our given situation we are in, we are actually able to not only outspeed the Garbora, which we should be able to do, but Earthquake from this range is actually in a KO. So that is GG Darut in a very, very interesting match at that. A lot of weird Pokemon triumph really, really hard, a lot of weird rolls, and very dramatic overall. Uh, I was really glad how this game turned out. I think it was really, really exciting. And I'm really happy to see Arbok actually pulling some weight. Trust me, it's a very, very rare thing to see. But hell, I'll take it. Arbok is one of those Pokemon that I really, really like myself a lot. Very underrated. And uh, it did fair here. The Water MC set did very, very fair here. So right, some after thoughts about this game. I should definitely say this. I think my team on paper is stronger than the roots, and it really, really was showcased there. I do believe some of my Pokémon did naturally be more viable um, as the meta looks like. Even though I have a few niche mounts, I also have a few Pokémon that stand out. Delphox, Hitmonlee, kind of, kind of busted against this matchup, no matter what, really. But I had fun, and I really believe the root had that too. And all should be said about Arbok. 
The Warium C set is not necessarily the most viable one. I definitely encourage people to rather use Sucker Punch over Aqua Tail. But it's fun to try. And it looks weird, so I'll, I'll take it. it. It's glorious. Uh, so yeah, thank you of course as always guys so much for watching. Love you guys that you guys support me so much. And uh, definitely makes this worthwhile to be on Leland's with you all. And yeah, as always guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. I, can't, I am terrible at wrapping up videos. Anyway, hey, take care. <laughs> Dear Lord. Bye, guys. <laughs>